forces of nature. There are dragons in this world so colossal, so powerful that they defy categorization. Leo Shanlang, Shangoran, Janmaran, and the endless serpent Dalamador roam the old world, migrating across the continent, leaving desolation and destruction in their wake. These behemoths are more force of nature than elder dragon. And how can any lone hunter hope to stand against a force of nature? In the new world, we're no stranger to these forces of nature. Working together, we, the five fleets, have driven the living mountain Zora Magdaros from this land and slain the mysterious ethereal Xenojiva. Working together, the five fleets as one, we overcame these forces of nature. We restored balance to the ecosystem so that our newly founded home city, Astera, can continue to thrive and grow. So that the Research Commission can continue its work in exploring and seeking to understand this strange new world we inhabit. For a time, all seemed well, and the new world was set right. That time is over. A new threat has emerged. Once again, a colossal elder dragon is threatening the delicate balance we strive to protect. Deep in the glimmering caverns of El Dorado, after 40 long years, a legend has returned. The queen mother of dragons, draped in a mantle of pure gold. My name is Strawfoot, and this is the Kolv Tarath. In order to better understand this new threat, we need to journey deep beneath the surface of this world, into the caverns of El Dorado. This mysterious underground labyrinth of caves and tunnels carved out of the earth by the Everstream has been reshaped by its fiercest denizen. The evidence that this is in fact Kolv Tarath's nesting ground surrounds us. Mineral deposits and glimmering gold fragments litter the cave system's floor. We're not far from Kolv Tarath. These Gajalaka gatherers have been collecting gold fragments. I try to ask them if they've seen our force of nature, but they offer no direction. They appear to be so obsessed with harvesting the cavern's gold deposits that they have little desire to assist me in my research. I'm careful not to touch their gold as I move along. These strange creatures can be unpredictable and violent if they feel their way of life is being interfered with. There is so much gold in this cavern, even the local flora and fauna is encrusted with it. These small crabs scurry about collecting materials for their nests. Even the cave bats are coated in fine gold dust. As I travel deep into the depths of El Dorado, I can feel the earth begin to shake violently beneath my feet. Something massive is moving just up ahead. At last, after 40 long years of research, we've discovered the nesting ground of the Golden Mother. Kolv Tarath lumbers into view. This colossal elder dragon is heavily armored. Its body has become covered by layers of gold, accumulated from the countless centuries it has wandered this complex maze of caverns. In order to better understand this strange creature, I'll need to chip away some of these layers. If the research commission is to learn anything about Kolb Tarath, we need to remove its glimmering armor and study what lies beneath. Using my slinger, I can trigger an avalanche of stone. This should slow the dragon long enough, long enough for me to remove some of its plating. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that my weapons are strong enough. My great sword isn't even scratching the surface of the golden dragon's armor. I don't think I'm going to bring this force of nature down alone. I'll need to return to the guild hall, re-equip, and await reinforcements. During the First Age, armies of humans and Wyvarians waged great wars against the monsters of the Old World, and against each other. The resulting cataclysm was the fall of the First Great Civilization, and the end of the First Age. In the Second Age, we humans and Wyvarians learned to respect the balance of nature. Some time after the Great War, the Hunter's Guild was formed to regulate our interactions with monsters and to protect this balance. Under the guidance of the Hunter's Guild, we once again rebuilt our civilization. Together, we have constructed great cities and trade ports, built powerful weapons to keep us safe, and learned to responsibly harvest the land around us. The Hunter's Guild has established many rules and regulations in order to maintain the delicate balance of our new world and prevent us from repeating the mistakes of the First Age. These rules are strictly enforced by the Guild Knights. One such Guild regulation is known as the Rule of Five. Some time ago, the hero of Kokoto, along with four Wyvarian hunters, set out to slay the colossal elder dragon Leo Shanlung. The battle that ensued was fierce. Leo Shanlung is an immensely powerful dragon, unlike any seen in the New World. In the end, 
the hero of Kokoto, leapt onto the beast's head, driving his legendary sword deep into its skull. But when the dust settled, they found that one of the five hunters had fallen in battle. The fallen Wyvarian was in fact the one dearest to the hero of Kokoto, his fiancée. From that point onward, out of respect for the hero's great loss, and in order to prevent future tragedies, the Hunter's Guild established the Rule of Five. This rule strictly prohibits hunters from working together in groups larger than four. The Rule of Five protects the balance of nature and honors the greatest hero of our age, yet every rule must be broken at times. The Hunter's Guild recognizes that some monsters are so powerful or present a threat so large that dramatic actions must be taken. In these instances, a siege may be authorized by the Guild. When a siege has been authorized, the Rule of Five no longer applies, and hunters may work together to end a threat by whatever means necessary. Ravayante, Jen Moran, Leo Shanlung, Zora Magdaros. These elder dragons, these forces of nature, are too dangerous for small groups of hunters to face alone. Today, the Hunter's Guild has once again authorized a siege. No one knows what dangers Kulp Taroth could present to the ecosystem of the New World. Hunters are gathering in mass to join the siege. We will need each and every one of you to break this horned dragon's glimmering mantle and uncover the truth. So ready your weapons and join me in this siege. We've got research to do. Together, and only together, we can put an end to this force of nature and uncover the secrets of El Dorado and the Kolb Tarath. As always, this has been Strawfoot. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And maybe you even learned something new about this fantastic game we all love so much. If you did enjoy the video, do me a favor and click all those buttons. You know, the YouTube thing. And hey, leave me a comment and say hi. I love talking with you guys. In fact, I've got a Discord server now, so you can join that and chat live with the community. And there's also a Patreon page. If you want to show your love for the channel and get your name in the credits and watch some exclusive videos, you should check that out. There's a link to all this in the description. Well, this channel has grown a lot since I started it, and I couldn't have done it without each and every one of you. So thank you for your generous support on Patreon and for clicking all the buttons and for all the fantastic comments. Until next time, peace out.